Get out. Get out. I gotta be honest. When I first saw the trailer to this movie, I'm like, what's the big deal? <laughs> like, I thought it looked like a generic horror film that comes out in February. I just, I, I wasn't buying it. Um, that's when I first saw the trailer. So, but like I always say, I give every movie a chance, okay? And I freaking loved it. Um, it's weird because my first theater experience with this was very bad. Um, I think that's what made me in a bad mood. Um, I really liked it, and the thing is, after a while, I started to think maybe this movie is a little bit overrated. Um, but then after watching it a few more times, I'm like, no, I was, I was completely wrong. Uh, this movie is very unique. It's different, and I like the style and the fact that they put, uh, like, racism in the film, which is, you know, going on today you know, in this country, and it, um, it kind of pokes at it a little bit. I like that. And, um, I don't know, I just like the direction they took with it. I mean, to be honest, when I first went into this film, you know, I was, I was, um, you know, I wasn't excited, I was just kind of like, oh, let's, let's just see what happens, you know. I think that really helped the experience. Because you don't want to be spoiled by the trailers, and the trailers did nothing for me, like I said. But, uh, yeah, I was very, very impressed with the visual style and the characters and, uh, yeah, just the the whole premise. So, Get Out was released on February 24th, 2017 in the U.S. It is considered a horror mystery thriller. It uh, had a budget of, it was like four and a half to five million dollars, estimated. And then uh, there was like a box office gross of 255 million. So it was very, very successful. It was very uh, well received by critics. I mean, when this came out, you couldn't really find a bad review online. Whenever it says certified fresh Rotten Tomatoes, don't even follow that. I can't stand Rotten Tomatoes. But this movie won Best Original screen, uh, Screenplay at the 90th Academy Awards, and uh, Jordan Peele was the first black winner uh, to, to do that. First black winner to win Best Original Screenplay. Um, but yeah, you got Jordan Peele uh, with his directorial debut. Uh, comedian, pretty much doing a horror film and that not to say that this movie didn't have comedy it definitely did at the right at the right moments definitely stars daniel uh kaluuya who is a black he plays a black uh photographer in this um and he was in kick-ass 2 and sicario uh you have allison williams who did mostly tv stuff before she did this i think she actually did another movie but there's Daniel right there, and Allison, she's covered up by the sticker, but, um, you also got, uh, Catherine Keener right there. Uh, she was in, like, 40-Year-Old Virgin and other films. Bradley Whitford, uh, of course, I know him best from Billy Madison with Adam Sandler, and, uh, he was also in this film, Cabin in the Woods. He was pretty good in that film as well. Uh, you got uh, Little Rel Howery, I think that's how you say it, as Rod. He was pretty much the comic relief in this in this movie. Caleb Jones. Now, he plays the weird brother. I think that's him right there. He dresses up in that, that helmet and kidnaps people. But he, he plays a, a weirdo in this movie. But here's the thing. I know I've seen him before. And I started to think about it. I couldn't remember the name, so I had to look it up, and I was right. Because when I started thinking, I'm like, that's where I've seen him, and I, I can remember the, the scene. Caleb Jones was in The Last Exorcism. He was the... He actually played a brother there. 
Uh, he played the kid who got his face got messed up, like cut really bad, and he was bleeding out out his his jaw and his mouth, and like he got cut really bad by the possessed girl. And I'm like, I, I'm like, he just looks so familiar. He played a weirdo there too. So yeah, in this movie, he he's just he's just so weird. Like his just just his acting and his presence, just ugh, I don't know, kind of bothered me a little bit. But that's that's the role he was playing. So the movie, <clears throat> you know, it um, basically follows Daniel Kaluuya's character and Allison Williams, who are together, and they both go to her parents' house for the weekend. And her parents, you know, they live in this nice house, and they have, um, you know, uh, a black like maid and a gardener um there's a lot of like a racial stuff in this film but it's not it's not anything bad or anything we're like we're not used to it's just it's just they they kind of point things out um but they go there and it's it's you know chris's first time meeting her parents and so as they're at the house, things start to get weird. Um, you know, Catherine Keener, she's into hypnotizing people by, it's weird, like, she has this spoon and she, like, stirs her, her tea and, like, it makes this noise in it and it, it, like, basically puts you to sleep. And that's what is happening to him right there. He's falling into the, to the sunken place. Uh, <clears throat> but she, like, hypnotizes people. And then what they do is they... They take you down in the basement and tr they do transplants um, of of taking someone's brain and putting it into another person's body, uh, almost like a like a body snatchers kind of thing. Like it's like a full transplant thing. Um, <clears throat> very creepy video too that they wa have to watch and, and just to get some you get some kind of background on on who this family is and what they're capable of and what their their goal is but you see like there's all these like African African Americans being uh, kidnapped and going missing is because this family is basically uh, you know behind all this they you know they they kidnap these black people and and you have white people bidding on them so they can do this transplant by putting the the you know the white people's brain into the black person's body so it's almost like the black person is like a vessel or like you know you know like a shell uh and you know the brain the people you transplant their brains over they have full control pretty much over the the uh the body so it's 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 very i mean it's cool it's it's a really cool idea i i do like that and um it just brings all sorts of different uh different ideas that what could happen or what where they could go with it it does have an alternate ending and i do not like the alternate ending i like the ending they went with here um, you know, Rod, he is hilarious. He, he just says some really funny things. Um, I am T.S. motherfucking A. I handle shit. Consider this situation fucking handled. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so while they're at the house and they discover all this stuff's going on, there is a, uh, you know, a good portion of survival, uh, which turns into, it, it's the typical horror, uh, I guess cliche, but it's not the thing i like about this movie is that the main character is not stupid he doesn't do he doesn't make stupid decisions he doesn't do stupid things he doesn't run upstairs when he should be going out the front door it's it's not your typical stupid horror cliche okay it's that's that's definitely what i like about it so uh yeah i think jordan peele did an amazing job with this movie